Uh, first of all, so just answering the question about uh, um, what exactly is um, you know, is automation. So it's the way of um, you know, to do things that can't be done manually or at scale. So and it's a valuation engine, so you can respond immediately to events or customer actions. And it's also a decision-making tool, so you can use all of the data available uh, from all the different channels to determine the right outcome for that particular contact. And it's also an execution tool, so you can reach out to customers, communicate personally, and build up their profile. And then finally, it's an orchestration tool that, uh, that plugs into XConnect to manage journeys across any channel. Why is Sitecore Automation different? Uh, what does this mean from a marketer point of view? Uh, it's our favorite saying about the, uh, the one connected platform. So it's the ability to act on information from all areas of the customer journey, anything from email clicks to form submissions, goal and campaign triggers, engagement source, etc. cetera. Um, you can personalize web content based on automation states. Uh, so it means that marketing automation both drives the web experience and learns from it. There are no data silos, which creates a consistent customer view, resulting in consistent customer experiences. And then finally, you've got the full flexibility in that you can host where you want, extend how you want. So just as a quick overview, what's, uh, what's new? I love this slide. I think this drives the point home that uh, this is no, or the new automation is no reskin of the old stuff. It's a complete uh, rebuild from the ground up, um, a whole new engine um, and a whole new architecture, uh, which really drives um, and, and eliminates some of the issues that uh, you may be aware of that we had with automation in the past, how that interacted with email sends, etc. And in terms of scalability and reliability, uh, this is a, a whole brand new, beautiful rainbow world uh, with automation. So from a business point of view, um, it's full omni-channel automation. It's no longer in the, the marketing control panel. So we've got rid of Silverlight. Uh, we have the new platform architecture. So in terms of performance, scalability, and reliability, it's worlds ahead of where it was before. Uh, a modern uh, new UI with drag and drop features. And it's one of the first projects where we've had a huge investment in, in design and research. Uh, so we have a number of different out-of-the-box activities and features to manage the journey from enrollment all the way through to reporting, a whole new rules engine, and we'll explore that in more detail as well, that aligns rules across automation, segmentation, and experience analytics. Uh, so you can see now we're, we're aligning how we can use rules and segments uh, across our different apps to try and bring everything together. And with that, we also have a lot more uh, rules with out-of-the-box conditions to include behavioral conditions, time parameters. So it's a lot more versatile out of the box and it's a much better developer experience to be able to build new rules to fit into the new um, editors. I just want to talk about some of the building blocks that we we're going to explore. So we have, the first one will be broadcast actions. So out of the box, this is clearly sending an email, uh, but we have the capacity to expand other broadcast channels such as SMS, um, uh, app notifications, for example. So we intend to build these up over time. Marketing actions are things that happen behind the scenes. They don't affect the contact directly. They don't experience them, but it helps build up the profile. So changing their engagement scores, depending on where they are in an uh, automation campaign, um, or changing their profile scores, for example, adding them to a list, all of these things that could be pinned down to a marketing action. Uh, delays, these are obviously to orchestrate and time how a campaign works, but it's also a holding state, and we'll see that in a moment, um, where you're, you're waiting for a contact to, to move to the next state, and this provides an opportunity to uh, personalize, because if they're held for a time, it means you can build rules around personalizing content on the site uh, based on their position in the campaign. Uh, listeners are also a, a holding point, but this is where you're, the, the campaign is waiting for a specific action to happen. So that could be waiting for an email to be opened, waiting for a campaign to be triggered, waiting for a goal to be triggered. Anything you like could be a listener. So that's the listen aspect. And then as an extension of that, we have the decision points. So where the listener will give you a binary yes or no answer to did they click on an email, for example, the decision point will then allow you to extend that and have additional um, exit points depending on other questions that you might want to ask of the contact. So did they open the email? Yes. Are they in the United States? No. They're in Canada. Okay, so we can put them down a different pathway. And then finally, we have other tools 
to move contacts to the other to the right part of the customer life cycle. So you can move them from campaign to campaign, or you can move them to the top of the campaign if they need to recycle through. One of the big differences between the old engagement automation and the new marketing automation is that now we have a defined flow, if you will. We think of it as a as a waterfall. You start at the top and you you work your way down, uh, rather than the the very uh, free fall approach that we had in the past where you could loop everywhere and it was uh, a bit of a mess to try and get your um, get understanding of how it all worked whereas now it's a sequential flow and so it's defined as, as a contact throw, flows through they're held in some places they move forward uh, to other activities so now everything is is defined as an activity so a contact will move from activity to activity uh, some hold for a certain period of time some will go through straight away and at the moment uh, automation campaigns are no re-entry that's how they're set uh, but we're adding extra controls in for 9.1 that will allow the user to actually specify how many times a contact will be able to go through a campaign uh, so to protect uh, the contact for being overexposed to marketing messaging um, or being caught up in infinite loops or anything like that. Uh, from a technical point of view, again, well, I'm just going to hammer this home. It's a whole new architecture um, and the new automation engine is uh, fully integrated into that new architecture. And with that, um, it brings us uh, live events. You can actually specify if a, an event is um, you know, is to be triggered straight away. So if you've got actions such as a purchase, you want to have a confirmation email immediately. So you can set the priority on these things so that those things will be um, processed within the session and the next part of the uh, the campaign will be executed. In terms of the way it's now, you know, with the new architecture, we have uh, you know, the fact that it runs as a win window service, so it's more reliable, it's always up. Uh, you can scale up, you can scale out. 